So the school lunch has long been considered the bottom, bottom of the cul culinary totem pole. Yeah, but there's no doubt that it has been evolving a little bit for the better over the years. Um, but a group of student uh, chefs is cooking up a plan to move the school lunch into the 21st century, you might say. Here's ABC's Catherine Falders. They come from high schools across the country to the nation's capital. These young student chefs taking control of their school lunches in an effort to create healthy eating in school cafeterias through a program called Cooking for Change. The challenge? Making healthy and delicious meals while meeting the U.S. Department of Agriculture guidelines on a tight budget, about one dollar per lunch. No easy task. It's a challenge schools deal with nationwide. What is the message that you're hoping that these 10 students send to kids across the country? Well, really, the core message is the importance of healthy eating and the fact that healthy food can be tasty food. And I think you heard the students describe the meals that they've created. These are going to be very tasty meals, but they also are uh, carefully designed to meet health requirements. Meet Jeremy Tizano, traveling all the way from Dallas, Texas, on a mission to fulfill his dream of becoming a chef, following in his mother's footsteps. My mom is a chef, so I kind of grew up uh, beside her on a little stool in the kitchen. And uh, I've just been growing in the kitchen with her. And then when I got to high school, I took a culinary class. And that just opened up a bunch of doors for me. And it wasn't easy getting here. Tell me a little bit about um, the training and how many hours you put into being able to come to the nation's capital and compete here today. Oh, my gosh. Hours and hours a day. We would be in the kitchen tasting things. Two hours in the kitchen Monday recreating their winning recipes and scored by a 17-person celebrity judging panel, including Kwame Anwachi from Bravo's Top Chef, cooking everything from barbecue chicken pizza quesadillas to Moroccan stuffed zucchini, all without those key ingredients of olive oil and salt. And the team from Orange County, California, took home the gold with a Moroccan stuffed zucchini. But regardless of the winner, all of those lunches will be served to thousands of students across their respective school districts. Diane, Kendis. All right.